We are back at the Virtual Summit main stage and I have another guest here for the recap of the day. Her name is Stephanie Schaller. Hi, Steph. Hi, thank you so much for having me again. Crazy. Yeah, thanks for coming again. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us more about your day. What happened? What were your highlights? Okay, so I actually had a little bit of time today, luckily. So I had the chance to listen to a couple of talks and one was just really, really inspirational. It was with the futurist, Dr. Stefan Karsten, and he talked about the topic trust versus tech. Mm -hmm. um, meaning, what does this mean about safety in the future of mobility? And it was just really interesting to hear his point of view on this part. And actually, we had one curated um, panel today from Women in Mobility talking about autonomous driving and the legal perspective part, something maybe not everyone has thought about yet. So what happens if I get into an accident with my automatic car? Who will be charged for that? And I think it just all comes together that we are going to a future where technology will be a main part of our transportation, about our way, mm. and how much trust do we have up to this point and how much more trust will we get? That's a really interesting point because today, um, I also had, I had so many talks today, but talking about autonomous driving, there were two that I would like to mention. One was about little buses, mini buses, picking you up from your doorstep and bringing you to the train station and also the um, way backwards. And he said that there is more and more trust and people actually are in favor of using those mini uh, buses. But on the other hand, I also had another talk about air mobility. Mm. And um, my guest also said that this is going to be the future that we have an autonomous flying. But at the same time, he also said, with flying, people are like, well, oh, I'm too scared. I'm not sure if I... People I'm really even scared to go on a plane when there are two pilots, um, highly educated. Um, they don't know what happened. And he said, he said, as far as there are some turbulences coming, people were like, oh gosh, there's no one taking care of it. So this is, I think, a really interesting fact. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I would be ever able to get into a plane that is driven automatically. I remember I was once with Audi together and they have autonomous cars. Mm -hmm. And those cars were programmed to go the maximum speed and it was in a racing lab. And I was just like in this car going, I think, 240 miles and I was just like... <laughs> this is going by itself? Like, can I mean, someone sitting there, he would probably be able to, yeah. you know, stop it. But I was just like, okay, and imagine he's not there anymore. Like, wow, it is. it was really an intense feeling. Wow. I also had the chance today to talk to your colleague, Annabelle, and we were talking about the CEOs and their communication and that more and it's yeah, the importance is more and more given that not only the CEOs are taking care of their social media profiles, but also like um, all the employees are also um, ambassadors for their company. That was highly interesting, too. Yeah, I mean, she is just, um, so she's one of my co-leaders from Women in Mobility and she's just so smart and eloquent and mm -hmm. Sometimes when she's like talking and she does all the PR work actually for us as well, I'm just like, wow, Annabelle, like you really, you, you always find the right words and put them down and you are not only an ambassador for your company, but also for us. And I totally understand and agree to her point that we are all resembling part of the future and part of mobility with our jobs, with our presentation here and with all the words and things we spread on social media and she does all the work. So thank wow. you for that. <laughs> I also met another very inspiring woman. Her name was Dr. Nari Kale and she said one sentence that really yeah, sticked in my mind. She said, we cannot have mobility as a luxury good. It needs to be affordable, accessible by everyone. And she is really taking care that there are more social, innovative startups to find solutions so that every people around the world, every person can have access to mobility. So inspiring, really. Really, and I'm very looking forward for tomorrow. There is the whole day about startups mm -hmm. and I had a little bit of time to walk through the whole startup area. And I'm quite excited to hear a little bit more about startups and on stage presenting their ideas about the future and what have they come up. I mean, it's inspiring. Yeah, I, I have to say today was really a day where this year's ER mobility is really about. We talked about e-bikes, we talked about sustainability, we talked about diversity, we talked about um, air mobility, we talked about 
uh, uh, autonomous mini buses. So really it was about the, the mobility as a whole and really what is the future going to look like. And I'm always wondering how the future really is. So if we are enabling more mobility, is it at the same time possible to have the sustainability too? Because we're more moving. What do you think about that? I think that there will be more uh, new challenges coming up with all the steps we are going forward. And I think that talking to each other and listening to each other will be more important in the future because we all have the desire and the need for speed. Mm -hmm. Let's go fast somewhere. Let's go quick somewhere. Let's, let's achieve things. But we always have to have the mind that the world is not moving faster around. It's still going to be only 24 days and we only have a limited amount of time to fix crisis, to fix problems. So even though we want to speed things up, we always have to remember that nature is still a big part of it and it cannot be healed within five minutes. Yeah. So I'm really hoping to see also from the startup area some ideas on this regard. Sorry to interrupt, but here we also have some pictures now from the minibus that we were talking about earlier. And this is also really great because um, also uh, people with... Yeah, that need to be included and um, also have accidents really easy so that they can use and what we also talked about it also needs to be easy to use it so yes. if there's a person maybe blind um, maybe too old to use devices so that it's really easy um, applicable um, really really interesting and I had one more talk that I also want to mention because it was about the future of the cities ah. I talked to uh, Clemens Baumgartner and we were talking about how is it possible in, in European old cities to really have f uh, future cities so there are a lot of topics yeah. <laughs> a lot to talk about a lot to move forward um, but this is already today we're done Thank you very much for coming, Stephanie. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> and I hope you also enjoyed the day. So as I've said, there was such a huge variety of program today and we will continue doing this tomorrow. So I hope I can welcome you again. And in the meantime, you have uh, access to err.de slash virtual where we have all the pre-recorded sessions now available. So you can enjoy them now. And I hope that we see each other tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>